Rahman Ibrahim. Welcome to Forward Public School e-learning class. Congratulations students, you are promoted to class 5th and this is your new academic session that is from 2021 to 2022. In today's class, we will discuss application, noun pronoun, some of their exercises and word opposite. This is part 1 and I am your English teacher Laila Palwasha. Dear students, I will be teaching your English B. So now let's start with your midterm course. These are the contents. We will be studying all of them one by one. Dear students, you are supposed to write these capital letters from A to Z on the very first page of your classwork copies. And then on the second page, give the heading of small letters and write all the small letters starting from A to Z. And then on the next page, give the heading of sky letters and write B, D, F, H, K, L, T. Then give the heading of grass letters and write the letters A, C, E, I, M, N, O, R, S, U, V, W, X, Z. Then give the heading of root letters and write G, J, P, Q, Y, Z. After writing these letters, Let's start with the application that is for urgent piece of work. But first, I'll show you the format of writing an application. Students, this is the format of writing an application and you'll always follow this format. In the first line, you'll write to. Then in the next line, you'll write the principal comma. Then ABC school comma. Then PQR comma city and then full stop. Then in the next line, you'll write the subject and you'll always underline the subject. Then you have to leave one line and then you'll write madam, comma. Then here comes the main body of the application. At the end, you'll write thanking you, comma. Then yours obediently, comma. X, Y, Z means you have to write your name. Then class, you have to mention your class and then you have to write the date. Now we will be doing application which is for urgent piece of work. In the first line you will write to. Then in the next line you will write the principal comma. Then you will write forward public school comma. Then Hayatabad comma Peshawar full stop. Then in the next line you will write subject. Leave for urgent piece of work full stop. And you have to underline the subject. Then after subject you will leave one line. And in the next line, you'll write Madam, comma, most respectfully, it, comma, it is stated that I have an urgent piece of work at home. Bohat ehtiram se mein aapko batana chahta hoon, ya chahti hoon ke mujhe ghar mein ek zaruri kaam hai. Therefore, comma, I cannot come to school today. Is liye mein aaj school nahi aa sakta ya nahi aa sakti. Full stop. Kindly grant me leave for one day. That is, you have to write the date. Barahe mirbani mujhe ek din ki chutti de de. Then at the end, you will write thanking you, comma. Then yours obediently, comma. Then in the next line, you will write your name. Then you have to mention your class. And at the end, you will write the date. After application, we will be studying now. Noun is basically a naming word. In Urdu, we call it ism. Or we can say it is the name of any person, place, animal or thing. Ism kisi shaks, kisi jaga, janwar ya kisi cheez ke naam ko kehte hain. For example, Ali, Cat, Peshawar, Pencil, etc. The noun is being further divided into five kinds. Number one, common noun, proper noun, collective noun, abstract noun, and material noun. Dear students, now we will define the kinds of noun one by one. Number one is common noun, which is the name of an ordinary person, place, thing, or animal is called common noun. Means, kisi aam shaks, jaga, cheese, ya janwar ke naam ko hum Common noun kehte hai. For example, boy, city, bird, girl, etc. The second kind of noun is proper noun. 
which is the name of a particular person, place, thing or animal is called proper noun. Kisi khas shaks, jaga, cheese ya janwar ke naam ko hum proper noun kete. For example, Sara, England, Dolphin, etc. The third kind of noun is collective noun. That is the name that stands for a number of person or things regarded as a single unit is called collective noun. For example, class, army, group, team, etc. It means that collectively or for a group, we use only word. Like army, so army is a group of soldiers. Class, the class is a group of students. Then the fourth kind of noun is abstract noun. An abstract noun is a name given to a quality, state of being or feeling. Ye kisi aisi cheez ka naam hota hai jise hum dekh nahi sakte hai, na chak sakte hai, aur na hi chhu sakte hai. Kyunki iska apna koi wujud hi nahi hota. Ye kisi halat ya kafiyat ko kehte hai. Aur iska hum sirf tasavvuri kar sakte hai. For example, honesty, joy, pleasure, etc. The fifth kind of noun is material noun. It is the name of a thing that exists in the form of mass or heap and cannot be counted. For example, gold, silver, salt, etc. Means wo alfaz jo ki solid ya liquid ki shakal mein zahir hote hain ya aise ye aisa ism hai jisme kisi ek cheez se dusri cheez tayar ki jaye. And cannot be counted or hum isse count nahi kar sakte. Jaise gold ho gaya, silver ho gaya, namak ho gaya, salt, ring ho gaya, copper, iron, steel, table, etc. Dear students, now we'll do the exercise in which we have to underline the nouns in the sentence. The first sentence is a plague of locusts ate all the wheat. In this sentence, plague of locusts is the collective noun and wheat is a material noun second sentence is the girl chopped wood for the fire girl is a common noun and wood is a material noun the third sentence is the czar of russia had great wealth in this sentence czar of russia is a proper noun and wealth is a material noun. The fourth sentence is rabbits eat grass but otter eat fish. In this sentence rabbits, otter, fish are common nouns while grass is a material noun. The fifth sentence is we breath air into our lungs. In this sentence air is an abstract noun while lungs is a common noun. The sixth sentence is the fisherman filled the basket with fish. In this sentence, fisherman, basket, fish are common nouns. The seventh sentence is the hungry dog attacked sheep. Dog and sheep are common nouns. In the eighth sentence, the owner of the hotel is a wealthy lady. Hotel and lady are common nouns. Ninth sentence is John kept his pet parrot in a cage. John is a proper noun while parrot and cage is a common noun. The tenth sentence is the ship struck a reef but the crew was saved. Ship and reef is a common noun while crew is a collective noun. Now we will be doing our second exercise which is write suitable nouns. The first sentence is the girl limped home as her dash was injured. So as her leg was injured. Second sentence is there was an interesting tune on the road. Third is the photographer put a film in her camera. Fourth is, the rider fell off his horse. Fifth is, I witnessed a collision of two cars. Sixth is, the motorist put water in the car's radiator. The seventh sentence is, I was bitten by a fox in the wood. 
नंबर एट ही पुट सम बटर ऑन हिज ब्रेड नाउ विल बी स्टार्टिंग प्रोनाम a pronoun is a word which is used instead of a noun to avoid repetition of a noun pronoun hamare paas wo lafz hai jo hum noun ki jagah istemal karte hain for example we us they them you him her she he i me it which who etc Let's have a look at the examples of pronouns. The first example is John is a boy. He is at home. Just to avoid repetition of noun, we have used a pronoun over here. The second sentence is Mary is a girl. She is in the classroom. We have used the word she for Mary. The third sentence is they are brothers and sisters so they is the pronoun the fourth is we know them very well we is also pronoun and them is a pronoun now we'll be doing the exercise in which you have to write the missing pronouns the first sentence is the woman traveled to singapore but she lost her way as we are talking about the woman so we'll not repeat this word again and again and we'll only put a pronoun then in the second sentence the girl will listen to her father because she respects him we are talking about the girl so we'll use the pronoun according to this word then the third sentence is have you lost an apple as i lost mine so mine is the pronoun the fourth sentence is my coat is light but yours is heavy so yours is a pronoun the fifth sentence is apples are good for you so you should eat them them is a pronoun the sixth sentence is are you the boy who won the race so who is the pronoun so the seventh sentence is is that the car which crashed near the school which is the pronoun then the eighth sentence is i know nothing about her in this sentence her is the pronoun the next sentence is it will be a secret between you and me you and the word me both are pronouns in this sentence Next sentence is he is as tall as I am. So this sentence he and I both are acting as a pronoun. This means now we'll be studying words opposites means alfaz mutazam. The first word is day and the opposite of this word is night. Matlab din or raat. The next word is right or left. दाए और बाए और वी कैन से राइट और रॉन्ग सही या गलत दी थर्ड वर्ड इज जॉय जॉय मीन्स खुशी एंड दी ऑपोजिट ऑफ दिस वर्ड इज सॉरो मतलब गम दी नेक्स्ट वर्ड इज लो लो मीन्स कम एंड हाई मीन्स ज्यादा नेक्स्ट इज न्यू न्यू मीन्स नया एंड दी ऑपोजिट ऑफ दिस वर्ड इज ओल्ड पुराना दैन दी नेक्स्ट वर्ड इज फ्यू कुछ या थोड़ा कह सकते हैं हम इसे एंड द ऑपोजिट ऑफ दिस वर्ड इज मैनी ज्यादा देन द नेक्स्ट वर्ड इज ट्रू और फॉल्स ट्रू मीन्स सही या ठीक एंड फॉल्स मीन्स गलत देन द नेक्स्ट वर्ड इज एडमिट एडमिट मीन्स मानना या तस्लीम करना एंड देन डिनाई डिनाई इज इट्स ऑपोजिट डिनाई मीन्स इनकार करना देन द नेक्स्ट इज एबसेंट absent means ghair hazir and the opposite of this word is present present means maujood hona then the next word is cheap cheap means sasta and the opposite of this word is expensive matlab mehenga then the next word is rich rich means ameer and the opposite of this word is poor gharib Then the next word is dangerous. Dangerous means khatarnak, and the opposite of this word is safe. Safe means mehfuz. 
Then the next word is proud. Proud means magroor. And humble. Humble means opposite. Then the next word is poverty. Poverty means ghurbat. And the opposite of this word would be wealthy. Wealthy means amir. Dalatmand. Next word is arrival. Arrival means amad. And the opposite of this word is departure. Departure means ravangi. Then the next word is dead. Dead means murda. And the opposite of this word is alive. Alive means zinda. The next word is failure. Failure means nakami. And the opposite of this word is success. Means kamiabi. Then the next word is ancient. Ancient means kadim. Ya purana. And the opposite of this word is modern. Modern means naya ya jadid. Then the next word is solid. Solid means thos. And the opposite of this word is liquid means maya. The example of solid would be in Jessica we are having ice. So ice is in the form of solid and when it melts it becomes liquid. The next word is permit means ijazat dena and the opposite of this word is forbid. Forbid means mana karna. Then we have innocent. Innocent means masoom. And the opposite of this word is guilty means mujrim. The next word is exit. Exit means bahir nikalna. And the opposite of this word is entrance means dakhil hona. The next word is ignorance. Ignorance means la ilmi or jahalat. And the opposite of this word is knowledge means ilm. Next word is smooth. Smooth means hamvar. And the opposite of this word is rough, means khurdra. The last word is stale, stale means basi. And the opposite of this word is fresh, means taza. Dear students, this was the end of the class. You are supposed to write application, noun, kinds of noun, exercises of noun, pronoun, exercise of pronoun, and words opposite in your classwork copies. And the remaining contents will be discussed in the next class. Thank you. Stay home. Stay blessed. Allah Hafiz.